scrapping several outdated and archaic laws, formation of Niti Ayo in place of Planning Commission, FDA regulations in 15 sectors, including defense, railways, insurance, and construction sector, amendment to apprenticeship bill, streamlining labor inspection regime, an online portal to simplify complaints and project clearances, etc. All these reforms have shown their impact on ease of doing business. And India has claimed, climbed four ranks of the World Bank's ease of doing business to 130. And this is no mean achievement in the short span of time when this government has been in office. The launching of nationwide industry focused campaigns such as Make in India to build India's manufacturing sector and Digital India to digitalize and connect the country in addition to Clean India health and sanitation initiatives have given a sense of hope and enhanced the aspirations of people. The government is pushing the implementation of GST from 2016 to simplify the tax system and avoid multiple taxes. But we wish to urge that there is an urgent need for a mass movement to involve the stakeholders in the GST journey. Federation has conducted seminars in Hyderabad, Vijayawada, after the draft report on registration under GST, payment procedures, return procedures, and refund procedures were released and identified many differences in the set procedures. The recommendations have been forwarded to the Empowered Committee for consideration. The industry and the trade fraternity welcomes implementation of GST, but only after plugging all the loose ends and addressing the concerns of the industry. It is to be done. We are all aware that the micro, small and medium enterprise MSME sector is a critical component of India's growth story, making significant contribution to GDP, employment and exports. In India, the MSME sector contributes only 38% of GDP and constitutes 90% of the total enterprises. To improve the performance of MSMEs and increase their share in the GDP, it is important to take measures to strengthen the sector. MSME face the problem of delay payments from their buyers, which are mostly large corporates. This adversely impacts their working capital as well as their next cycle of production by affecting their ability to service existing debt. The Micro and Small Enterprise Felicity Council was constituted under the MSMD Act 2006 to resolve the delayed payments issue for micro and small enterprises. But the objective of the establishment has not been fully met due to the lack of, lack of judicial powers or legal enforceability of the decisions. The rulings of Felicitation Council are not honored by the corporate and thereafter MSCs are forced with the further cost of time and expenses in pursuing an appeals in courts and in the same cases many choose to drop their claims altogether. The problem can be resolved only by giving legal enforceability to the orders of MSME Felicitation Council. Sir, we have a plethora of schemes sponsored by the central government and state governments, specialized institutions and development bodies for MSMEs, but the utilization level of the schemes programs are very low. The, this is mainly because of the complex administrative procedures involved in the process of application and sanction under the various schemes. No businessman can afford to lose time and money over the schemes. And there is a need to simplify the procedure of application and sanctioning process. Sir, other areas where more assertive and concentrated efforts are needed or accelerating the economic growth are, the government provides rupees 3.5, 3.9 lakhs crores of subsidies across food, fertilizer and fuels which are inefficiently delivered and contribute heavily to Indians' fiscal deficit. The previous government introduced a Rural Employment Guarantee Scheme which cost the exchanger about 40,000 crores per annum. Sir, the, and suffered from poor implementation of corruption. Indian cities are poorly planned with inadequate support, transport and housing infrastructure, despite 
announcements about the developing smart cities. The government has to address basic urban infrastructure issues, particularly in transport, housing, and sanitation. Solid waste management, management is not given a priority even in the metropolitan cities of the country, and this is the main reason for poor hygienic conditions. Organic and inorganic waste can be used for generation of power and also manure can be made for agriculture out of the organic waste. But setting up the units is not viable for the private entrepreneurs and government needs to set up the solid waste management units in every city and urban areas. Sir, migration of the people from rural areas to urban areas is leading to increase in the urban poverty. The National Urban Livelihood Mission that is aimed at the universal coverage of the urban poor for skill development, for market-based jobs, and create facilities for creating self-employment opportunities need to be extended to those who are living in smaller towns with about 50,000 population. India has the second biggest market globally worth 1.5 trillion attractive age profile with a median age of 26 years. Plenty full of land and water, plenty of traditional land, and renewable energy sources, minerals, and more importantly, stable governance system, and strong and independent institutions to foster social, political, and economic stability, including a roughly independent election commission, central bank, and judiciary. No other country in the world has a unique combination of assets on the scale, and if India can find a way to harness its assets, over the two coming decades, we are sure that our country will be becoming the most developed and wealthiest country. <laughs> Sir, the weak factor for India, which has been often prevented from realizing this potential, has been the political will to improve the governance. Additional focus will be required to see many of these reforms through their conclusions, along with the initiations of other key reforms. I once again express my sincere thanks to Venkanya Garu and I also congratulate once again to all the awardees. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, uh, may I invite Sri Shekhar Agarwal, Chairman, FTAP CCI Excellence Awards Committee to share his remarks. Our beloved leader and today's chief guest, Union Minister for Urban Development, Poverty Elevation, and Parliamentary Affairs, Shri Venkai Naidu Garu, our dynamic president, Shri Anil Reddy, senior vice president, Shri Ravindra Modi, our champions, the award winners, media, eminent guests, managing committee members, past presidents, a very good noon to all of you. I would like to add my words of welcome to our chief guest on behalf of his government. I would like to congratulate Venkai Agaru as within such a short period of one year, fiscal deficit, revenue deficit, trade deficit, current account deficit, inflation, have significantly come down. There is almost zero scam. Economy is being revived. Now the government is there with leadership, decision-making power. There is absolute transparency. There is absolute trust which can make good policies. GDP and FDI are improving. India is being internationally recognized and projected as the best investment destination. Sir, our Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi and your team is doing a great job. I am sure with your efforts within next few years, India would become one of the strongest economically developed nation. Friends, you know that in 1972, Venkai Garu humbly started his career as a student leader. 77, in emergency, he was imprisoned. His heart 
beats for farmers. During Bajpayee government, he took charge of rural development ministry. He introduced Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana to connect all the villages. 2002, he was elected as the president of his party. 2014, he is handling a few of the most important portfolios. In spite of number of challenges in the parliament, record number of bills are approved. Few of them are like Bangladesh, national judiciary appointments, and black money bills. We are sure that with the, within a short time, GST bill would also be approved. <coughs> Sir, Amrit Atal, urban yojana is highly appreciable. Sir, your small cities concept for 100 cities in India is itself is a very smart concept. One hand, it would help better quality to the citizens. On the other hand, it would generate multiple economical activities. I would like to congratulate Venkai Garu for his innovative and noble idea of smart cities. In his name, first name, Venkaya, V stands for, V stands for values, V stands for vitality, V stands for victory. Surname, N stands for noble, N stands for nice, N, is for, N stands for nurturing. That's what is our chief guest, Sri Venkaya Naidu Garu is. I like to present a small couplet to Sri Venkaya Naidu Garu. Sir, har deepak tale, har deepak tale andhera hota hai, har deepak tale andhera hota hai, har raat ke baad savera hota hai, har raat ke baad savera hota hai, log dar jate hain, log dar jate hain mushkilon ko dekh kar, log dar jate hain mushkilon ko dekh kar, par har mushkil ke piche, har mushkil ke piche hi savera hota hai, har mushkil ke piche hi savera hota hai. Here the thing is, it is on the adversities, and Venkat Nairu Garu strongly believes in that. I just give you one illustration. A hammer falls on glass, what happens? Glass gets broken, it gets shattered. But hammer falls on steel, what happens? It gets molded. That's how we get household utensils. Hammer falls glass, it gets shattered. Hammer falls on steel, it gets molded. It all depends on what metal we are made of. Let's become like steel. Let, us, let ad any adversity that comes to us add value to our life. That's what is our chief guest. He always converts his adversities to fortune because each adversity he understand has got greater seeds of fortune in them. Very, very important is to convert the adversities into fortune. So can, we, can I request all of you to join me to give a big hand to our chief guest for th this day? <laughs> Friends, Federation has instituted the most coveted and sought after award to encourage the entrepreneurs and boost the economy of our states in, in the most important areas like productivity, research, innovation, export, energy, IT, tourism, agro-based industries, CSR, etc. To select the best awardees, the Federation had formed a committee of 39 members having experience in different areas. It was helped by eminent jury consisting of justice Rangrajan Garu, Justice Bhaskar Garu, Dean Emeritus, Indian School of Business, Professor Ramohan Rao Garu, former Director General, Administrator of College, Dr. S.K. Rao, Dr. Gopalakrishna, IS retired, Dr. Uh, sorry, Mr. T.S. Aparo, IS retired. I take this opportunity also to express my gratitude to Sri B. Shankar, the co-chairman of the awards committee, and all to the jury members for their selfless contribution. Friends, the contribution of the award winners to the state and national economy is immense. A lot to learn from them. Two secrets I like to share. The time we have gone through the reviews and two very important secrets. First is they believe in PQR square. P, first P stand on productivity. They always work to improve their productivity. Second, they always work on improving their quality. Second, Q is for quality. And third, R square, first R is on research. They spend a lot of their time and energy and money on research. And fourth is, fourth R is to reduce the rate of interest and your capital. So PQR square is the first secret of their success. Second, they focus on five A's. First A is aim. 
aim clearly and aim high. Aim very clearly and aim high. Secondly is also their focus is on abundance and prosperity. Friends, in our life, what we focus, we get. So our these entrepreneurs, the champions of day, what we are meeting today, they always focus on abundance. They always focus on prosperity. Friends, third is accountability. They have accountability and self-honesty, which is very, very important. Fourth A is awareness, awareness of the changes, whatever happening. They understand the change. They master the change. They lead the change. So it's very, very important to understand the change and being aware of it. Fifth A, which is very, very important, is act. And they are all action-oriented. They are all action-oriented entrepreneurs. I like to give an example here. There was a professor crossing boat, crossing a river, and he had a boatman, no one else. He was discussing with the boatman. Boatman, do you know anthropology? Boatman replied, sorry, sir, I am illiterate. I don't know. With a smile, the professor replied to the boatman, then boatman, you have wasted 25% of your life. After some time, the professor put the next question to Boatman. Boatman, do you know physiology? Again, the answer was no. Bigger is small. The professor replied to Boatman. Then Boatman, you have wasted more than 50% of your life. After some time, the professor put the next question to Boatman. Boatman, do you know psychology? Again, the answer was no. Bigger is small. The professor replied to Boatman. Boatman, then you have wasted more than 75% of life. So, friend, by that time, the boat has reached to the middle of the river. Now, the Boatman asked, sir, do you know swimology? Our friend, Professor was screen board, started looking here, there, and sir was obviously no. And this boatman continued, sir, there is a hole in the boat, and water is already started in the, into the boat. Within the short time, this boat is going to sink. Along with this boat, you are also going to sink, and you have wasted 100% of your life. Friends, the question is, even if our friend professor has read hundreds of thousands of books on swimming, could he become a swimmer? No. That's why it is says, knowing is only knowing, knowing is not doing, and doing is only doing. Friends, our champions, they have got very good knowledge about their subject, and they're very good in converting their knowledge into action, and they're all action-oriented entrepreneurs. That's why we are able to see them. So once again, I congratulate all our awardees of today. Small couplet for all our awardees. Dunia ka har shok, dunia ka har shok pala nahi jata. Dunia ka har shok pala nahi jata. कांच के खिलौनों को उछाला नहीं जाता कांच के खिलौनों को उछाला नहीं जाता मेहनत करने से मेहनत करने से हो जाती है हर, हर मुश्किल आसान मेहनत करने से हो जाती है हर मुश्किल आसान हर काम तकदीर के भरोसे पे छोड़ा नहीं जाता हर काम तकदीर के भरोसे पे छोड़ा नहीं जाता फ्रेंड्स कैन वी गिव अ बिग हैंड टू ऑल आवर चैंपियंस ऑफ दिस डे वी आर मीटिंग एंड एंड द टाइम वी आर गिविंग हैंड लेट इज कम फ्रॉम आवर हार्ट and with a smile on our face. Come, let's give a big, big clap to them. That's good. And here the thing is, here the